Hi guys, and welcome to another ICT lesson. This is for Wednesday the 6th of May. Hope you guys are still safe and everything's going well and everybody's keeping healthy. Now, for today's lesson, we are going to be doing a bit of internet-related research and we are going to be doing a few comparisons. Now, for today's lesson, we are going to be working in Microsoft Word. So obviously, you will need to open Microsoft Word first. As soon as it opens up, please select blank document. Now, your heading that you are going to be using for today, please make sure that it is in the center of your page. And your main heading is going to be Samsung versus Apple. Okay. Now, obviously, you can change the size and the font of your heading however which way you want to. Now, uh, please ensure that you have at least two spaces underneath it. And then you'll have to click on Insert. We're going to go to click on to Table. Now, the table that we are going to be doing here today, we're going to be using various functionalities. Okay. Now, as you can see, if you scroll over this block it will give you the amount of columns and rows that you need now our first we are going to be using four separate columns okay now the amount of rows that we need obviously our headings for each of those columns will be in the first one then you will need the your well, you are going to be comparing cell phones tablets and smartwatches okay now over here you will use your top line for your headings your first one will be the device then obviously you will have in here you will have the samsung device you will have the apple device and then you will have your verdict okay now for the purpose of this exercise i'm going to be doing basically a bit of the first one with you so your first one will be the cell phones Oh, shucks, spelling mistake. Sorry, guys. Cell phones. Okay. Now, to do this, we are going to need information off of the internet. So please make sure that you are properly connected. Now, I have already opened up a few tabs. So I've basically Googled like Samsung's best phone specs and I've gotten a few results. And you'll do obviously the same with Apple if you don't know exactly which one is the best for their range. Now, one of the best websites to use that I find is GSM Arena. Okay, for instance, if you go on to the Samsung one here, it'll give you all of the basic specs that you need. So for instance, this is the Samsung Galaxy S20 Plus. Okay, now, for instance, it tells us here that the phone weighs 186 grams. Okay, it has a 64 megapixel camera, it has eight gigabytes of RAM, and then it, what it has a 4500 milliamp hour battery okay now if you scroll down you will see here that it provides you with further with more information basically how what the cpu that it uses its main camera its selfie camera the sound that it has additional features it might have for instance the battery over here and then what basically what the battery is about okay now guys Please make sure that when you're busy with these devices that you compare the same things to one another. Okay, so for instance, if we are going to be using the weight here of 186 grams, okay, if we are going to copy that, okay, so you highlight it and then copy and then you go into your Word document and for the Samsung phone, you are going to then copy the writing okay that says it is 186 grams now obviously with the cell phones here where it is samsung please just make sure that you say which phone it is so this is for the s20 plus okay now then we can even put that underneath so we know it is the s20 plus okay now for instance, for your Apple phone, you will need to then obviously have the weight also as one of the first features that you have in your comparison. Okay, so if we go for the Apple, the iPhone 11 Pro, if we take a look at the basic information, it weighs 226 grams. Okay, so make sure that you copy that again and then paste it into your Word document. But first things first, this is the iPhone 11 Pro. And then you insert your basic information into it. Okay, so as you can see, we now have two 
functionalities or two features of these devices that we are comparing to one another. Now, what I need you guys to do is you are going to pick five different things about that specific device. And you are going to list five things in here and five things there for each of the devices. So for the cell phones, for the tablets, as well as for the smart watches. Okay. Now, please make sure that you have five things for each specific device. And then under verdict, I want to know if you had to purchase either one of the two, which one would it be and why? Okay. So, for instance, if you say that you have picked the Samsung, okay, guys, you need to tell me why you picked the Samsung. So, for instance, you can tell me that it is lighter than the iPhone or if we if you take a look at the specs that it has a longer battery life or it has more ram so which means the processing power will be better so you can do more things with the actual phone okay i need actual evidence okay from in your verdict as well you can't just tell me that it's a prettier phone and that's why you want it we need to have actual facts that you have in here okay now guys you can do your basic columns like this you can even go further if you really want to and you can insert an additional column over here where you have a picture okay so within this block you can put in a picture of both of the phones and then you can do your comparison with it okay it is completely up to you guys this is your work but then please just remember your verdict has to be based on the facts that you find with these various devices okay as soon as you are done with that guys please remember you click on file save as in my case here click on browse so and then save it into your documents okay so for instance this one here we will have samsung versus apple and then please add your name and surname to it and then click on save and again you'll see up at the top it has changed now, please, guys, make sure that you save this document properly then place it on a USB so that you can bring it to school once we start up again. Or otherwise, guys, you can post your document onto the Google Classroom. Or please, if there is no other alternative, you can email your document to me. If you don't have a USB or you don't want to post it onto Google Classroom, you can email it to me as well. And I'll hopefully I can save everybody's copy so that we have all of yours. Okay, now, as always, guys, this will also be put onto the Google Classroom, the link for this video, as well as basic instructions on how to complete this specific assignment. Guys, now, with ICT, you have a week to complete this. So I hope you guys have fun with this, and I hope you guys are staying safe. And then I will see you guys again, guys. All the best. Enjoy. Have fun. And don't forget to smash that like button. Cheers, guys.